Hello and welcome to Acoustic RGJ. Today I'm going to do a review on the HP Color Laser Jet Pro MFP 283 FDW printer. So this printer is going to replace three old and battered printers that I have lying around the place at the moment. So the Color Laser HP Pro will hopefully secure my printing needs and scanning needs for the foreseeable future. It's a Color Laser Jet printer and it allows scanning either through the scanner itself or controlled via a laptop or via a remote mobile device such as a mobile phone. So there's plenty of um, options and versatility there uh, and I'm just going to give you a quick walk through it to help you see whether it might be the right thing for you. So anyway, with no further ado, here we go. Okay, so the first thing to say about this is, is that it's quite a heavy box. Greater than 15 kilograms it says, and actually uh, yeah, it's, it's a reasonable weight. But anyway, let's slide some scissors through it, get it open, and see what it looks like inside. So right at the top, the first thing we have is a fair little diagram showing PC HP Smart for printing from a, a mobile phone something on the touch screen and notes about downloading and installing software, mobile printing and then wireless printing. So you have some paper prepared earlier, uh, yeah, slide over the paper to look and slide. You don't put the paper in one way, but I guess that's for if you want to kind of use paper that's shorter than A4, smaller than A4 size. So that can close down. And I've got the cable tied up with the kind of ubiquitous cable tie, which I can undo. Uh, plugs in on this right hand side, just down here at the back. And that goes in there. I think I'll connect it to my laptop before I switch it on. It gives me a bit of thinking time to kind of work out where the on-off button is. Okay, another cable tie. Um, holding this to the USB cable. Typical kind of USB. Right, so I'm just going to slide this round. So this is the back right hand side of the printer and you can see there are actually uh, three different ports. So right at the top is the USB port. That's the one you connect to your laptop or your hub if you're using a USB hub. Beneath that is the Ethernet port. So you can connect the printer directly to your local hardwired network. Alternatively though, in terms of printing and scanning to and from the printer, you can connect the printer directly, as I said before, to your laptop via a, a USB cable, or you can print wirelessly, and there's a couple of methods of printing wirelessly, either using the wireless network or what they call kind of point-to-point, -point, which is basically where you use your laptop's Wi-Fi to connect directly to the printer. And finally, at the bottom, there's a port which is used for connecting a telephone-type cable, and that's used for faxing basically so if you want to fax documents to an office or somewhere plug that one into your phone line and then once you've scanned a document you can directly fax it to your desired recipient find out one day and just connect that to my hub right so i've connected my usb port and i connect the mains and now i need to find out where the on off switch is ah there we are on off switch <laughs> Bursting into life. Ooh. I just noticed when I switched on that the touchpad on the front has come up with a menu of, of things that it wants me to select. So first I thought I'd go through this with you for the first time and see what happens. So it's prompting me for my language, which is English. Ooh. English, yes, it says. So I cover that up. <clears throat> Location, right. Let's see if we can find United Kingdom, PQ, Norway, Portugal, because T, UK down here. Let's just select UK. If I shake your hand. UK, yes or no? Okay, now the printer's just started to hum for some reason, um, but it's prompting me for default settings, which are self managed. IT managed or print information sheet, so I think I'll go for self managed. 
I guess you can change again yes or no prompt. I guess you can change those at a later date. Then it just says copy, scan, fax. Oh, it's ready. So okay. So that's good. It thinks it's ready. Um, I see there's a Wi-Fi indicator with what looks like a little red minus sign. So obviously it hasn't set anything up like wi wireless connectivity yet. There's various setup options. And the touch screen actually looks and feels quite quite good. I'm going to download and install the software now onto my laptop and let's just see how that works. So what I'm going to do now is in the instructions here in the user manual it talks about downloading and installing software. Um, and there's two methods apparently for downloading the software. One is to go to 123.hp.com forward slash series jet or method two download from printer support website windows. So I guess it doesn't make any difference. I'll just shift things around a bit and we'll have a look at how that works. Okay, so I've gone to Google and I started typing in 123.hp.com forward slash laserjet. And what I'm going to be looking for now is something that says Windows or Download. So there's a Windows option, which is the operating system that I'm currently running. And here's something that says software download and it's come from uh, hp.com so I'll go to there. Okay so it's come up with a page that's prompting me to download and install printer software. So if it goes and it checks the device and it downloads uh, an installation file. Now that's going to go to my downloads folder. Once the ticks appeared if I click the little upper arrow I can show it in folder that'll be highlighted and I need to double click that with the left mouse button to start extracting its contents. And what it does, it extracts something called HP Easy Start which is basically the software installer program. Okay so it prompts me to say are you ready to continue to install and set up the printer? So I can click continue then there's just a confirmation that you've reviewed and read the uh, agreements and settings. And then it searches for the printer, which in my case is connected by a USB cable. So I can confirm that that's the printer that I want to set up. And it goes away and checks what software is required and what settings are required for the printer. <clears throat> And there's two options. You can either enter all the software, select all the software uh, and drivers, or just the drivers themselves. I always think it's worth um, loading all the software. There may be some applications and bits and bobs that you don't actually want to use, but you can always delete those afterwards. So it goes away and it extracts all the software from the um, X, from the installation file. and begins the installation process. And this day may take a few minutes. I've shortened some of these passages just so you don't have to watch for so long. Now if you want to set a fax up, you can do. I don't use fax, so I just continued on from there and it kind of ignored that. And there you go, setup's complete. It prompts you then to register your product. This is for kind of um, guarantee purposes, unfortunately. This didn't work, uh, it just threw up an error. So I'll have to come and revisit this at a later date. Let's, let's have a quick look at HP Smart. This is an application that is downloaded when you do your printer setup. It allows you to, for example, get supplies so you can order the correct toner for your printer or paper for that matter. Scan, uh, as it says, is your default scanning utility. Um, Smart Tasks is something you'd normally run on a mobile phone because it allows you to print pictures directly from Facebook or other folders. Um, you can or from the cloud. You can also scan um, documents directly from your phone, and you can scan and directly email those to a recipient of your choice, or you can scan them to a folder. Play and Learn basically has kind of um, puzzles colouring, bits of information, it's just kind of one of these kind of pastime things. Print documents is your typical default printing uh, 
help and support takes you to a, a cyber support client print photos basically defaults um, to your photo library so you can pick photos and print them the one reservation with that is is that it doesn't allow you to select a specific paper type so my inclination would be to open the photo using your usual photo app and then select print and that will they would allow you to select a particular kind of type of paper, glossy or matte, for example. And then finally, printer settings, that allows you to set up your default network settings if anything changes, or if you want to do scan to email, it allows you to set up your default email so the recipient knows where the email has come from. I'll just show how the wireless setup works, configuring it from the printer's touch screen. At the top of the touch screen, you'll see an icon that looks like a, a, a kind of a wireless indicator. If you tap that, you can switch the wireless on and off. And it comes in with three options, Wi-Fi Direct, Network Wi-Fi, or HPE Print. ePrint enables you to print from your mobile phone. Wi-Fi Direct enables you to print directly from a laptop, which is next to the printer. And then Wi-Fi Network allows you to print from a computer, for example, that may be in another room across the wireless network. So I'm going to tap the Wi-Fi indicator in the top right hand corner and then select Network Wi-Fi on and then go into Settings which is just clicking this button down here. There's another few options. The one we want to look for is Wireless Setup Wizard. So I can tap that and it says now that it's retrieving wireless network information and then it comes up with a list of the various wireless options that I can set up to link to this printer. Now in this case the nearest Wi-Fi router to me is this uh, TalkTalk 2nd Gen. So I'm going to click that. It says enter passphrase. So the passphrase is basically the password to your Wi-Fi router. In my situation all my Wi-Fi repeaters and extenders have the same password as the basic router. So you need to go to your router, there's usually a card in the back of the router which will have your password on it. So I'm just going to type that in. Okay, so I've typed in the password and click OK. So I've entered the password and then click OK. So now it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi network that I've just set up. It says connection established, talk talk, second gen channel 11, 2.4 gigahertz, and now I can just click OK. And that's set up and ready to print wirelessly. So now we're going to have a quick look at scanning. There are actually three ways we can scan documents. One is from your laptop or computer using the software there to control the scanner. Or you can use your mobile phone using HP Smart. Or you can scan using the touch pad that's on the printer itself. And that's the method we're going to look at. Now the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your wireless connection is switched on. So just tap that icon in the top right hand corner, click OK. And then I can select this scan option in the middle there. And there's three or four different options for scanning. One is that you can scan to a USB drive. So in other words, you, you plug your USB drive into the printer itself, or you can scan to a computer, scan to a network folder, or scan to email. So I'm going to scan to my computer, so I'm going to just tap scan to computer. I've already put a document on the glass feeder and you can see there's various options here where I can scan to. I can scan to PC Roy, which is me, or email, or fax it, or scan to OCR. So I'm going to select scan to Roy PC. Confirm scan, computer scan to Roy PC, and then scan. So it says preparing to scan, and off we go. So this is scanning currently across the wireless network. My laptop is actually plugged into an Ethernet port, but it doesn't, doesn't matter the fact that you're hardwiring a laptop into an Ethernet port doesn't prevent the scanner from scanning wirelessly because the scanner is effectively sending the document up to the router and then from the router along the wire to, to the laptop itself. Okay, so it says scan successful, scan has been sent to computer, Roy PC, see this computer monitor for details. So let's just switch over and have a look at that. Okay, so the touchpad 
confirmed that the scan was successful and I've just switched over to a view on my laptop screen and you can see that here is a picture of the document that I scanned albeit upside down. Above the actual scan preview if you like of the document I have a file list of things I've scanned previously so here you can see highlighted the document that I've just scanned. At the top of the screen there are a number of options now. I could forward as a fax to somebody if I wish to, forward as an email or save as or print. So I'm going to save it to my laptop. So I, so I select save as. I'm prompted for a folder. So by default it defaults to a, a folder called scanned documents. But if I wish I could select any of the folders that are on my, my laptop. I'll stick with scan documents for now. I can type in a file name, printer instructions, and then I can save as a, a number of different types. So I've got an option to save as a PNG file, TIFF, GIF, JPEG, or bitmap BMP. Let's just save as a JPEG for now. Click save, and that's just the default splash screen that comes with the uh, software. So that will have saved now to that folder. So that's about it. Um, I can't really give you a full appraisal of the printer because I haven't had it long enough to use. The setup did take me a couple of goes to, to kind of go through and understand. Um, I think probably if you followed the instructions to the letter, it would go fairly smoothly. Some parts of the setup were a bit ambiguous, i.e. whether to connect the laptop to the printer directly via a, via a USB cable or to attempt to do the setup wirelessly. Both methods would work, I just really didn't state which was the best option. The HP Smart uh, application, although it's downloaded onto my laptop, is probably better used from a mobile phone or some kind of, kind of portable device. The printer does have a limitation when scanning from the printer itself and that there wasn't an obvious way of scanning and saving as a PDF. However, if you scan from the printer itself using the scan utility on the laptop, you'll find that that does have a saved a PDF option. There seems to be plenty of versatility with the printer. Obviously at the moment I can't really vouch for its print, printing quality per se um, because I haven't used it for long enough. But I will be using it for printing out some colour photos and I'll maybe let you know what they look like in the future. And I think the other thing with the printer is there's always more than one way of setting things up or configuring the scanner and printer to, to do what you want it to do. So it may take a little while to find out what kind of process in terms of printing and scanning works best for you as an individual. Anyway, I hope you found this useful and interesting. If so, please uh, like my video or subscribe to the channel. Uh, any comments are welcome and I look forward to seeing you in the future. So bye for now.